Hi and welcome to this session of What's New on OCI, a session dedicated to help you learn quickly the latest news in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. First news, the launch of Network Firewall powered by Palo Alto Networks. A new network firewall to monitor your traffic north, south, and east, west, powered by Palo Alto Networks. Second, Oracle Threat Intelligence, a new service to identify malicious IPs that are trying to connect to your environment. An improvement in Oracle Cloud Guard, Oracle Cloud Guard Threat Detector, to identify malicious activities and prevent you from being flooded with false positives. Oracle Security Zone, a zone where you can customize security rules and enforce them on your user. And last one, Oracle CloudGuard Fusion Applications Detector, another improvement in CloudGuard to leverage the power of CloudGuard to monitor and secure Fusion applications. Now, Michel will walk you through the other services that we launched. Michel? Thanks, Julian. The newest in Cloud Native this month are API usage plans, which give you more insight into the consumption of your APIs. From there, you can better monetize your APIs and even manage quotas per subscriber. This functionality is going to help you answer questions like how many consumers signed up for this API, who are our top consumers, and who has increased or decreased usage. So this functionality is now part of the OCI API Gateway. Another one of the most exciting recent launches is the new OCI search service with OpenSearch. This is a managed service by Oracle based on the open source OpenSearch, which makes it super easy to ingest, search, visualize, and analyze huge data sets. Using OCI's managed service means that you can choose the exact amount of resources to provision with, and also scale quickly and without any downtime. You can find two new reference architectures with OCI Search Service to build in-application search or to aggregate and analyze logs. Those links will be in the description below. And this is just the start of a new suite of open source managed services. So keep an eye out for more coming soon. Okay, and next let's go to Shig for some updates on License Manager and some new region news. Thanks, Michelle. If you're looking to move Oracle database licenses to OCI and take advantage of BYOL, then you may be concerned about how to track usage of those licenses. Today, it requires a manual process or the use of third-party tools. So we're very excited to announce the launch of License Manager, a new opt-in service on OCI to help address these concerns. We're starting with support for Oracle Database, but we'll soon be adding support for other Oracle products as well as non-Oracle software. So please check out this new capability in your OCI console. In June, we also added a new OCI region in Paris, further extending our global reach and putting us on track to adding six more regions in calendar year 2022. In addition, we added our 11th Azure Interconnect in Singapore, uh, which is a region that supports the interconnection between OCI and Azure Cloud via a dedicated uh, low latency private interconnect with support for uh, identity federation in order to support multi-cloud scenarios. A very exciting expansion of our capabilities. So with that, uh, that covers the highlights of what's new in OCI for this round. Uh, we're only able to cover the highlights. So to learn more and get more on what's new, please check out our what's new blog at blogs.oracle.com. For those folks that are looking to kick tires on products prior to release, please check out our beta program. We're always looking forward to getting feedback from our customers. And with that, thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you on the next round of what's new in OCI.